This doesn't look good. And he reached for it right away. How much more do you appreciate the game of football once it's taken away? So much. I tell myself, man, cherish this thing every day because you see how fast it can be taken from you. Going through the injury, it make you approach everything so differently, you know, with, with your eyes wide open that, you know, this thing could be gone so quick. Go ahead and shoot me down, baby. So you have to unfortunately sit on the sidelines and watch your team have success. What are you thinking when you have to be on the sidelines in a situation like that? This is what I always dreamed about. Like, this is what, this is what I wanted to do all my life. And now that I'm here, you know, everything was going so smooth. And to how that happened, it was, it was, it was terrifying. Yeah. You know, just sitting on the sideline, watching those guys, you know, just have fun, do the celebrations in the end zone. You know, it was a lot. So just to watch it, you know, it made me who I am right now. Well, you just can't talk enough about getting put back. Well, the good news is you're back. And you were back in a big way <laughs> last week. 136 yards and two touchdowns. Hands it to Dalvin, he spins a paper. Felt great, man. Just seeing the joy in all my teammates' eyes for me. And it goes! Touchdown! You know, just seeing everybody, you know, with a big smile on their face. You call that the Hey, now I'm here, now I'm not. It just brings a joy to me. Right you know, that's the feeling that we want over and over. That's the feeling that I want over and over for everybody around me. Your offensive coordinator gets fired, your quarterback coach gets promoted. The whole conversation was, mm -hmm. is that you were gonna get the ball early and often. How good was that? <laughs> it's a great feeling, especially, yeah. you know, when they say you're not gonna get the ball, but they send them getting the ball, it's a great feeling. So, you know, prepare yourself to make a play. And I was prepared, man. We gotta get back to playing at that high level with that chip on our shoulder every day. You know, when we walk in the building, you know, when we walk into another stadium, you know, they gotta know this is the Minnesota Vikings and we coming with a purpose. How is Dalvin Cook different today than he was a year ago? Mentally, you know, I, I grew so much. When I went through the hamstring thing this year, you know, I never got discouraged. I know what I mean to this team and to the guys in the locker room. So, you know, that's why I cherish this game and cherish the guys around me so much. That is what you want out of your money game. Be the beast, baby. Let's go. I'm still growing as a person, but mentally, I'm at a different mind state. Hey, 